Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civ 5. Ah, it's Venice. We last left off. Things are looking okay. I didn't get the Temple of Artemis, which is a bummer. Nor can I build a Stoneworks, which is a bummer. So we're dealing with lots of bummers. But I think we'll be okay. I'm going to have a decent amount of growth. So I don't think that will be too much of an issue. Uh, I'm also not... I'm going to use my religion more as a bonus to what I currently have. Instead of focusing on it. And let's see, we're going to go with doo -doo -doo, the wheel of mathematics, so we're going to go for the hanging gardens. And after that, we're going to go for optics. I am not too keen, however, on buying up either Geneva or Bucharest. At least not yet. Uh, they are close, so I do want to... I may consider Geneva, but honestly, I don't really know if I want to lose their bonuses for being uh, for eventually being allied with them but then again having more cities is also a boon so we'll see how it goes Let's see how much does the grand cost 460 okay look at that because we have the deer and the two bananas so that will be a nice two what tiles am I working uh, at least one yeah that'll be a that'll be a good little boost to the food and we're going to finish up, I think we're going to go ahead and just finish up tradition as quickly as possible. I have a decent amount of culture, which is also nice, so I don't have to worry too much about that. But we need my capital to be huge in order to keep up with everyone else's science. Wisdom and virtue. And as well, because this is not a real production-heavy city. Uh, there are a decent number of production tiles, but... I'd classify this as more of a growth city. And that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. I'll take that hit because that is only good for getting us a lighthouse. If I had like four or five resources, then I'd say it might be worth it. But even then, I could just build a lighthouse. It doesn't really like benefit the naval resources at all. Uh, I also should consider going for the Colossus, actually. Now that I think of it. So, oof, oof. let's actually get mathematics, then sailing. And then bronze working, because bronze working gives me more gold. Additional ship trade route. I don't know if that gives a free bonus, but yeah, that's really nice for what we want. And then we'll go for optics and then philosophy. And then Machu Picchu. Would be lovely. I'm just going over here, I guess. The two gold on these two tiles will be quite lovely because having a single tile with more than four resources on it is really sweet. And we've already got six and seven, so we'll get nine and ten, right? No. Eight and, ten, eight and nine. Plus two. Yeah. Anyway. The best thing to do is just get my city as big as possible. The hang guards will definitely do that for me. Are we getting these bananas next? Yeah. Ten turns? Okay. Let's see, if I put you on a food focus. I lose five production, which is pretty substantial. Okay, well, let's just manually do it. Do this one, do this one, do this one, and this one, and this one. 19 turns, 14 production. Let's not do this one then. Actually, there really isn't that many growth tiles, is there? Uh, I'd rather have the production then. As soon as we get those bananas. Yeah, that's not too surprising. So we've got some wonder-hungry people in this game. Okay, 
excellent. Okay, so actually, see, this will give me, actually, that will give me way more food than the water mill. So the question is, what should I build? Let's go for the water mill. Start it. We're not going to finish it. I can purchase the granary in a couple turns. We're getting a lot more gold from these quarries. Policy Monarchy. This gives us the free aqueduct and plus 15% growth. So we'll get, what, 30% increase, as well as the free aqueduct early in the game. Well before I probably would get it normally. So we're 43 turns away? Eh, it's not great. Uh, yeah, we're going to build the Hanging Gardens. 27 turns isn't that bad, which is not really that good either. Oh, and I have enough gold. Whoopsies. Want to grow nice and plump. Alright, reset tiles. So, yes, yes. I'd say we want to work this tile. And this tile. Both bananas. Five turns. It adds five? Oof. Does add five turns to the hanging gardens, and how much time? Four turns of growth. Yeah, five turns of protection for four turns of growth is okay. That's okay. I'm working. No, you're not working the cattle. You know what I should do is get that deer worked on. So sailing, trapping, iron working. Then we'll get philosophy. And then guilds. Okay. That'll do. Should I buy cargo ships? I don't know if I can even buy cargo ships. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, if I have enough trade ships and enough kind of city states around me, then maybe I should have trade ships going into Venice and just pumping food into it. That would be something to do. Shiny things the most. Well, that would be me. Six, seven, eight. Okay, that works out pretty well. I don't have calendar, do I? No, I do. Okay, then. Should I grab these bananas? No, I can't because I can't chop down jungle, so it doesn't matter. Okay. I grow two. Science is the, is important. And this is just gonna help me out completely. The production. Nice. So just grew. Shaved off a bunch of turns, but I'd rather you work. Food. Yeah. Okay. That'll do. Well, now, the religion has already been founded. I wonder if, I wonder who dad is. Let's see. Let's work this time. What that would that do? Oopsies. Adds what, like a turn? 
Reset again. Do 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 do. So ten turns. Add a turn of production. And shave off. Yeah, that's much better. Now, of course, if I lose it in that turn, that would suck. But I think my production is getting to the point where I'm okay. Even brute beasts and wandering. Do you have a worker yet? I wouldn't mind one more worker for the moment. Declare war, grab the worker. I'll probably actually take you over with my great merchant, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, well that answers that question. Very angry at me. But that's okay. Haven't met anyone yet. We didn't take it over. I don't think that'll be too bad of a penalty. One, two, three, four. Oh, that'll work out very nicely. Genie of Desire's trade route? I can do that. Sorry about the whole attacking you and taking your worker, but I kind of need them. I'll just sell them, sell them both off probably as soon as I don't need them. See, the sailing is it optics. So that's only across water tiles. Okay, so I need optics for that. Golden Age already. Son of a gun. These are on planes, so we'll get some production from this. Because the jungle gives two. Planes get plus one production. No, just food, huh? Okay. I'm fine with that. Do I need you? I don't think I need you. Let's just delete you. Barbarians show up, then I'll probably just buy buy a warrior then. In which case I will have lost money, but oh well. So, let's finish up the water mill, and then we're going to start working on the Parthenon, which we are building very quickly, which I really like. It'll be about 16 turns. Get all of that. Okay. And I want to make sure I get up to about size 12 before I build a rider's guild, because all my guilds are going to have to be in Venice, unfortunately. Which means it may severely hinder my production. So I don't want to really throw them in there too early. It's a nice cultural boost. But I want to make sure that my cities are nice and big. I think chopping down this forest will also get rid of a production per turn. So I don't think it will be worth it. Because it's not a f grassland. Yes, it will give additional food. But I'd rather have the production in all honesty. I've got enough bananas for that. Wow, the Parthenon has already been built. So we've got someone in here who's being a real wonder hog. Which is fine, I can deal with that. That means I can build some cargo ships. It's just, it, it's it's a nice bonus. I'd rather have the Colossus. And the Oracle. The Colossus, the Oracle, and the Machu Picchu are the three that I would like. Anything else is just... Candy. Okay, so, 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 so. I think just tithe for this. Let's 
to tithe. Uh, world, we get plus two faith from wonders. And then get Swords of the Plowshare next time. Yeah, sure. A decent amount of faith per turn never hurts. One from religion. Okay. It's fine by me. Wait, so the plantation is going to get rid of the production? That's so weird. Okay with it, because we'll get more stuff later, but I just find that so weird. Only is over. That's probably part of the reason why I was doing so well. Uh, okay. Okay, I agree with all of that. Keep growing really fast. Policy is in eight turns. Okay, good. We'll get it before Venice grows, which is excellent. See, I think the way it works is also the more food I have as a base higher the percentage is. Which is not what I wanted. Uh, is it only 10%? I, I thought it was 15. It probably was at one point. Which is fine. That's not a big deal. I should probably consider going to optics pretty quickly. But I'd rather have the wonders first. Let's see. After this... I would like a trireme. And then we'll build a Colossus, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, they don't completely despise me anymore. Let's see, three more turns for that. Yeah, you know, it's the it's all kind of working out, I guess. Gonna have the happiness, thankfully. Should I put trade posts here? I probably should. Iron working. Very good. Let's see. We want the Colossus. And we're going to go exploring. The ship is not going to be for defense. I think we'll be okay. I think most of the land's going to be seen, so there's not going to be very many encampments spawning. 12 turns for the Colossus. Hot dang, we're going to finish that before I get Philosophy. Err. Excellent. Finish a Tradition. Boom. Hopefully it carries over. Meet Florence. So we're going to meet plenty of people, I think, so I can take over a few near me. But I don't want to take over all of them because they're my source of uh, 
trade income. Let's see if this counts, because apparently it doesn't count until like unless you have two turns. No, it didn't count. So like you need like two turns for it to kick in, which is odd. So if I can get enough money going in, I may consider funding a massive, massive navy and just wipe everyone out and go for a dom victory too. That is possible. But I'd rather go for a science victory. That being said, it's not going to be easy to do that. One turns, yikes. It's medieval era, and I can do this now. So, the best thing to do would be to meet an ally with as many city states as possible using gold and then getting scholasticism. I think so. So, we're gonna probably rush down patronage next. A little more important than commerce because I don't think commerce really affects the trade route. Another religion found it. Okay. 450 is the next amount. We're a third of the way there. Okay. Under the medieval era, yikes. Two unmet people already have great work. Greece, Jerusalem. Ah, the useless wonder. Especially for me, because I have absolutely no military units. Okay, that's going to be a mine. I can't build trade posts yet, so I'm going to go up there. Uh, we actually have an encampment. Alright, so we're at turn 150. Oh, we got runes up here, huh? Maybe I'll buy a scout. Let's do that. Let's purchase a scout. Not much else I can actually even purchase, which is interesting. Uh, workbook, why not? So, look at the, let's look at the demographics. I'm the only 6th place in pop, though they may have other cities. I'm last place in literacy, which isn't too surprising. I'll probably go for the National College before the Oracle. The Oracle is quite nice, but ultimately getting the science first is better. And they're even rushing for text, which is scary. But yeah, I'm going to cut the video off here. Thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.